Welcome to our tiny bedroom. I'm going to give you a little tour. It won't take very long because it's very small in here. So this is my side of the bed. And Isaac's side is over here. Finn does still sleep with us, so it's quite squished. We went from a king to a queen. It can get cluttered in here very quickly, so we have to be mindful of the things that we bring in and make sure we are not accumulating too much. So I just have this basket on my side of the bed with some books. And the basket I use for items of clothing that I wear frequently, so sweaters and certain things that I like. Um, the previous owners built in these drawers, which are amazing. So I have four on my side, which is really nice. These are my unmentionables, and then bottoms, pants, and skirts, and things that I keep down there. And then on this side are Finn's cloth diapers, which I need to retire. He's done with them. And these are my tops. I try not to keep more clothes than I have room for, so if I bring something new in, I try to get rid of something. Um, and then I also keep some dresses and certain things hung up, not very many though. And then I have a uh, baby wrap down here, my one pair of uh, more formal shoes, and some extra things in the back. And then up here, I'm not going to show you because it's not very organized, but we keep some linens and other personal items up there that don't fit in our other areas. Um, so I just have a little bookshelf, I like to keep plants in every room to freshen the air, and that's pretty much it. Um, so Isaac has two uh, drawers on his side, and I recently just purchased this Bed Threads 100% Flax Linen Bed Spread. Absolutely love it. So this is a duvet cover, it comes with the, the set comes with a sheet, two pillowcases, and the duvet cover. Um, they have a lot of beautiful colors to choose from. Um, I love the turmeric shade, so that's what I went with. And now let me tell you about our mattress. We have a futon. It's an organic, natural futon. Um, we really wanted to make sure that we had something non-toxic to sleep on. And we also liked that this was um, not as high, so the boys can climb up easier. The mattress that it came with was really high and kind of hard to climb up onto. They have loads of options and we got ours custom made and I didn't quite do it perfectly. I didn't realize that RV mattresses are slightly shorter than the average size. So as you can see, it hangs up a little, but you can't tell when the blanket's pulled over. So we have this coconut coir on the bottom and this is very important in an RV. Otherwise you have to flip your mattresses. There's no ventilation. So this will keep any kind of mold or anything coming um, from growing on the bottom. So the original futon that we had custom made, we should have gotten the coconut made into the bottom of it or sewn into the bottom. We didn't do that and we also didn't make it quite thick enough. So we ended up getting this mattress topper to fill it out a little bit. So um, don't make the same mistakes that I made. But I still highly recommend this company. They have very reasonable prices and their mattresses are all handmade in California. Um, there's loads of options, so go check them out if you're in the, ma in the uh, market for a non-toxic mattress. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.